He's gonna teach me how to do my best Learn to invest and have a lot of fun Doing it in the Secret Millionaires Club The Secret Millionaires The Secret Millionaires Club The Secret Millionaires Club The best investment you can make is an investment in yourself Please call the meeting to order. a bargain at this amazing vintage shop in Paris. <gasps> You're from Paris? <laughs> no, Beijing originally. I've always wanted to see China. My mom and dad are university professors, and we've traveled the world. I'm here for your... eighth grade, is it? Yeah, welcome. Uh, um, Lisa, Elena, I'm so totally into international everything. One day, I plan to work at the United Nations. And thanks especially to my parents, teachers, and friends. I couldn't have brought about world peace without them. So you've traveled too? Never left the country. But in two weeks, our whole class is going on a field trip to New York. OMG! Me too, then. That's Fashion Week. Being in New York would be my dream come true. Not a bad way to start the year, right? Jones, Radley, meet Lisa. She's from Beijing. Sweet. I hear skating at the Wang Fujing Cathedral is unreal. Your knowledge of skateboarding is unreal. It's a gift. <laughs> He's adorable. Yeah, I built him. Guess you could say it's my gift. Oh, oh, whoa. You might want to take that gift back. You've always been jealous of my superior intellect. Riley, the only thing superior about you is your shoe size. Aw, that's so cute. Are you guys a couple? What? No. No. Absolutely not. What? No. No. Uh -uh. Forget them. Let's talk about me. Know what I'm gonna do in New York? Go on field trips like the rest of us? Nah, too slow lane. I hooked up a demo to land a major sponsor. Yeah! Booyah! That would be so slick. Yeah, if you mean sick. For someone new here, you're getting with the lingo. I've always been a fast learner. I also watch a lot of TV. The rearview mirror is always clearer than the windshield. If you don't have a clear picture of where you want to go, you could get into trouble. Paying attention to where you've been gives you the best picture of where to go. I always dreamed of being successful and met some amazing people along the way. And I made mistakes, but no matter what happened, I kept my eye ahead on the future. Remember, see your future, be your future. Thank you, Mr. Warren Buffett, investor, mentor. Okay, students, before homeroom starts, some important announcements. Due to financial difficulties, there will be some <clears throat> changes this year. No more robotics lab. <sighs> All student organizations have been cut. <sighs> After school sports, including the skateboarding squad, have been dropped. <laughs> There's still New York. 
Finally, it breaks my heart to say that this year's eighth grade trip to New York has been canceled. That concludes our assembly. Now go out there and make this the best year ever! That was definitely not sick, right? Yeah, with no clubs, there goes my chance of being president of the International Club. And where will I practice? Skate parks are crazy expensive. And no robotics lab means the world will be deprived of my best inventions. <laughs> oh. Yeah, more time in the lab would be a plus. And no money for New York. We've been waiting for this trip for years. I was really looking forward to fashion. all those dreams on hold. Maybe not. Remember the assembly? See your future? Be your future. I see lunch in my future. Jones, make room for bagels and pizza. I see New York in our future. I see where you're going with this, Radley. We'll, we'll raise, raise the, the money, money ourselves. ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm counting to ten. Uno, dos, tres, diez. I make the juice, freeze it, and that's how they thank me? My stomach thanks you, Elena. These are delicious. Healthy, too. It's my grandmother's recipe from Mexico. Okay, how are we going to raise money? Brad? Uh, sorry, I was checking my blog. How many followers you got? 4,033. Oh, 34. Hey, look. Hi, Lisa. Thank you for saving the field trip. No pressure here. We can do this. Raising money? Come on, guys, think. Call me when you figure it out, okay? Hang on, Jones. Help us. Later. I'm meeting some buds at the park. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Whoa! I'm okay. Yeah, but your board isn't. Rodeo. I hate cleaning my board. Wish there was a place to do it for me. Hmm. Why couldn't there be? Yeah, a skateboard wash. Where we could charge money. Skaters are pretty picky when it comes to their boards. You're the expert. Show us how to do it. This will totally work. Skate right up. Clean your wheels and help save our school field trip. Bro, those bearings are nasty. Let us clean them for you. Pay the rad man over there. 20 bucks. Word? Uh, too much? How about 19.99? No way. We'll take 10. Five? Why pay you at all? That's kind of a point of a fundraiser. Bro, it says fundraiser as in for fun. I don't got any money. Psh, forget this. This thing costs money. Well... Our idea gets a big, fat D. Wait, wait. I have another one. Give it up for the greatest robotics inventor of this or any time. You got it, Mr. Hawking. Prepare to be amazed. This bad boy's programmed to do homework, chores, play sports, and comes equipped with 3D HD TV and surround sound. Not to mention he can pop and lock. Let's start the bidding at a million dollars. Yeah, I can make us some money. My house, one hour. Look at those logins. I told you I have a lot of like-minded colleagues. Now watch the money flow. Fellow robotists, tired of crawling out of bed in the morning just to start your computer? Uh, yeah. You can start sleeping in tomorrow, if you have the Startinator. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like someone needs help. 
There go all your like-minded colleagues. And goodbye, New York. Hey, I thought you guys might like some help. We sure need something. Maybe there's a robotics show nearby. Already on it. Hmm, no luck. The only thing happening within 100 miles is the Healthy Food Expo. What's a Healthy Food Expo? Just the last place on Earth to find robot parts. We're sunk. The Expo features healthy, delicious alternatives to sugary snacks. Mm. What? Did I spill some on me? That's it, Jones. Where? Will it stain? We can sell popsicles at the Expo. But won't it be expensive to buy all the ingredients and supplies? Well, everyone around here has fruit trees. And my dad has a truck for his catering business. He can get us to the Expo. What are we waiting for? Here's the last of them. By my calculations, that should be enough. Got the permit and the truck is ready to go. <laughs> This is the fastest route? Not even I can predict when a big rig full of chickens is gonna break down. Check it out. That chicken just lapped us. Everyone at school is totally behind us. Everyone? You told everyone at school? Just updated my status. Why? Don't you want everyone to know you saved the field trip? Mr. Ramirez, turn left ahead for a way out of this. Hurry, Papa. Our entire school's social standing depends on this. Wait, wait. Let's document this moment. Uh, is that door supposed to be open? Oh, no. This is a disaster. Anyone got a straw? Quit fooling around. Hey, just trying to lighten the mood while we fix your mess. You're saying this is my fault? If Radley's stupid robot hadn't blown up. Don't blame Stardy. Jones didn't close the door. Hey, don't go stepping on my karma. Come on, Stardy. The air around here just got very hot. So, we're not going to save the field trip? No, not after this epic fail. not your fault. I went too far. No crime in wanting to help your school. We're all guilty of that. It's all good. Let's hug it out. There has to be a way to come up with that money. Not in three days. We could if we had help. Yes. We need someone smart and really good with business stuff. What about Warren Buffett? All right, Jones. Awesome. <laughs> Sure, this is where he eats? The internet knows all. Maybe I'll send a query via email. Or we could text him. Ugh, I'm going for it. Hi, kids. You just uh, dropping in? Sorry, Mr. Buffett, but we really need some financial advice. And fast! I make it a point never to give advice on an empty stomach. I know exactly what you mean, Mr. Buffett. Please, join me for lunch. You certainly do have a problem. Everything we've tried failed. Crashed and burned. Plopped and flopped. Why, that's great. Huh? Remember when I said, in the business world, the rearview mirror is always clearer than the windshield? Yeah, that sounded very important. It means... It's always easier to look back at something you've done than to see what path you should take next. That's great, but we still need some financial advice. Look at it this way. In trying to earn money for your school, what have you learned so far? Elena makes killer popsicles. That's a good start. You have a terrific product. 
And they're inexpensive to make, since all the ingredients were donated. And you know you can finance your venture. What else? We had a lot of people watch our webcast. You have a way to tell people about your product. That's called marketing. So what's it called when it all melts, before we can sell a single popsicle? A distribution problem. Yeah. <laughs> Let's sell Elena's popsicles before they're popsicles. Yeah. Juice won't melt. And instead of using one truck, I could get my skateboard friends to help. And that's the best ingredient of all. Teamwork. So remember, in business and in life, there are no failures. We just toss what didn't work and focus on what did. I get it. Learn from your mistakes. Yes. They'll guide you to the right path. Thank you, Mr. Buffett. We'll take it from here. You gonna eat that? Elena, Bradley, and David. It's Jones, dude. It's Principal Jones. I accept this donation on behalf of the entire school. The New York field trip is officially back on! <laughs> Have a safe trip, kids. Mr. Buffett. I am very impressed with you four. Thanks for everything. For what? You earned your success. And who knew earning money could be so much fun? When you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. Whoa, deep. Say, uh, I have a friend in New York. He needs a little help with a special project. I think you'll enjoy it. Look him up. Everything's so big. Wow. That's so cool, you guys. Just a little bit further. Looks like we need to take the elevator. This is the spot to meet him? My phone's global tracking is never wrong. Slow sometimes, but never wrong. I can't believe we're going to actually meet him. He's a massive star in China. In fact, He's a massive star everywhere I've been. I think Mr. Buffett punked us. Like someone that famous is gonna walk up to us in the middle of Times Square at... Bradley, Elena, Jones, Lisa. Huh? Huh? Warren has told me so much about you. Jay-Z! What you did for your school was wonderful. You should keep at it. As a team, you can put your interests in business to good use. That's what I've done. Being a good businessman has allowed me to help others, like my charity, the Sean Carter Scholarship Foundation. If you put your minds to it, you can do anything. Now get out of here and go and enjoy New York. Remember, there's a lot you can do in this world. There's a lot more dreams out there waiting to come true. Good luck. What did he mean by that? It was so big, so epic. Wish I knew. I think I have an idea. We 
can raise money to bring back all the school programs. Then help other kids all over the world with their money problems. We'll form a club. A secret club. So people don't have to feel all weird about kids helping them. I could be president. We should take a vote on that. Huh? Think you can do better? Do computers have integrated CPUs? Uh, anyway, our club idea? What do you think, Mr. Buffett? I can see it in your future. The Secret Millionaire's Club. The Secret Millionaire's Club. Hey, kids. Warren Buffett here. Most managers that are successful in business learn from someone called a mentor. A mentor is like a teacher that shares their experience and guides others to become better at something. Choosing the right mentors in life is important for success, like your parents and grandparents. When learning from others outside your family, you want to choose mentors who act the way you want to behave throughout your life. So remember, the trick to life is knowing who to be the bat boy for. This is important to understand if you want to eventually be a home run hitter. The best investment you can make is an investment in yourself. The more you learn, the more you'll learn. <laughs>